it was year 19 of my run in my suit that I used to do at the Combine, but haven't done so for the last couple of years because the world, as we know, changed a few years ago and there wasn't a Combine, so I started running it in Los Angeles. It was nine years ago that I decided to add a charitable component to the run, and the charity that I chose at the time was easy to choose. It's St. Jude Children's Research Hospital. At the time, my wife and I had a five, three, and a one-year-old. They're now all grown and healthy. But what if you get the call that so many St. Jude parents have received, that your child is sick, and that the only place that knows how, perhaps, to get them better is St. Jude Children's Research Hospital. So that's why I run every single year to raise as much money and for you to hopefully, you know, hit this QR code to my left with your camera and donate whatever you can to make sure sick kids get better and just to show you what happens when sick kids get better. Take a look at this year's version of Run Rich Run from the beautiful Rose Bowl. Welcome to the iconic Rose Bowl Stadium in Pasadena, California. Over 100 years of history in this place, and of course that includes running Run Rich Run for a second consecutive year here in beautiful Southern California. 19th year that I put on a suit and tie and run a 40 yard dash for some reason. Nine years where I've actually had a good reason to do it. I'm running on behalf once again for St. Jude Children's Research Hospital. It helps sick kids get better and to make sure that parents who send their children to that place never see a bill for anything. My five friends are hanging out with me here on the turf. Let's introduce yourselves for everybody at home. Alana, you go first. Hi, I'm Alana. I'm 11 years old and I had cancer four years ago. Hi, my name is Malin and I am eight years old. I had a bone marrow transplant four years ago. Hi, my name is Quincy. I am 12 years old and I've been out of treatment for four years. Hey, I'm Reynaldo. I'm 20 years old and I finished treatment two years ago. My name is Emmanuel. When I was four years old, I was diagnosed with red blood stomach on my left eye. And I'm 15 years cancer free playing football and ran track at Dakota State University. So you're ready to run a 40 yard dash, it's huh? It's about time. Okay, it is about time. I can't wait to see you guys get out there and run here at the Rose Bowl. Before we run though, I want to introduce a special guest who's hanging with us here today, okay? Her name is Deanna Flores. Come in, Deanna. She is the quarterback of Team Mexico's World Games gold medal flag football champion team, as well as the star of the NFL Super Bowl commercial, Run With It. Deanna Flores, great to see you here today. Thank you. I am so happy to be here. You are truly an inspiration. So it is my honor and cannot wait to have fun today. All right, let's warm up. Let's run some 40, <laughs> shall we? Go, 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 go! I got a 472. Yeah. Oh, look at us. Hey, put it up next to each other. 472. I would say it's a 472. 472. Look at him. Yeah. Draft this man. He is draft material. Running in the Rose Bowl. 472. He's only a freshman, man. Give him a little bit of time. <laughs> he might be ineligible right now. Deanna Flores, she's the best flag football player on planet Earth. She won a gold medal for Team Mexico. Go, go, go. Yeah. Strong. All right, I guess it's time for me to run. So some fast times. Whew. Better warm up. Somebody get that flag! I'm warm. Let's go! Run, Rich, run! Run, Rich, run! Run, Rich, run! Run, Rich, run! Go, 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 go
Two. You did amazing. All right, everybody, give yourselves a round of applause. Good times. This is why we do it. Please donate to St. Jude Children's Research Hospital. It is truly one of the greatest blessings you can make. St. Jude on three. One, two, three. St. Jude! I get emotional thinking about it, to be honest with you, because, you know, we all have kids and we we don't want to get the phone call that these parents got. And Emmanuel was four when he lost his eye and St. Jude got better. And now he's a 20 year old grown man running a 472. Malin Kate came from China. She was adopted by her parents from China. She had a hip replacement at age five, and there she is as an eight-year-old having fun at the Rose Bowl. It's exactly why you should hopefully take a moment out of your time and donate to St. Jude Children's Research Hospital and go ahead and make sure that, that the next Emmanuel, the next Malin Kate can have a day of normalcy like we had at the Rose Bowl. And I wanna thank uh, Dean Ambrosino at the Rose Bowl and Deanna Flores. Jason Potter and Justin Body of St. Jude, your angels. Charlie Oak, you the man. Um, Dallas Hitchcock put that piece together with Jim Fabio of True Blue Productions. Lisa Higuchi, Ronit Larone of NFL Network, the NFL Network original content, social, digital, email, photography, publicity, and, and volunteers all coming together to support it. I'm, I'm overwhelmed. And um, we're closing in right now on $600,000 for the charity oh, this awesome. year. If we can get up to 800,000, I know it's, it's asking a lot. That means it's 6 million for the life of the run over nine years. And I just want to thank you guys for, you know, being part of just sitting here and helping pause the draft so we can put a spotlight on it. It's so cool, man. I'll tell you what, you, we've got to see the different variations of this from when it started to when you added this component. And then we've yeah. seen you run with NFL legends and hall of famers, and that was Really, really cool. But seeing the smiles on their faces while they were running makes this my favorite one that you've done yet. Yeah, I just Thank like, you. I just enjoy watching where the stories have come from, you know, where yeah. the story began. And then you're giving us that and then seeing who, who these people are now. This is, is sensational. All the things that we can say. I'm just going to end it with this, Rich. You're our hero. Oh, that's no, uh, please. I'm no, just you, running into suit. No, 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 trying you to stay are in because, one piece. Because of what you're doing to bring that spotlight there. And as Daniel said, as, as we've seen different things grow, different components, there's more there because more people want to do things, want to be a part of it. So I look forward to being a part of that with you. And very, it, very small part. It takes a village and the person who really helped put that village together, her name's Louise Carter. Louise, you're an angel. What you do and how much you put yourself on the line throughout the year with what you do for NFL Network and making sure that everything goes off without a hitch and everybody together uh, I mean, I turn on the network and see, you know, as many times seeing that commercial over and over again, and I appreciate the audience indulging seeing it over and over again. It's important to raise as much money as possible. So I just want to shout out Louise in particular and everyone else that, that put it together, and including you three guys. I'll tell you, it's beautiful. And, you know, having the opportunity to have the morning show on Good Morning Football, and every time you bring some new guest or some new story to our show, we take such gratitude to you that we know it moves that needle a little bit and it's more and it's more and to see how it's grown i mean i just had a newborn of my own and yeah. like you just mentioned that when you say you don't want that call but if you do get that that there's someone there or yes. there's something to do like i got no words it's unbelievable thank you i uh, know I, I thank you guys as well i mean just one more story reynaldo who you saw in that piece right there he's from puerto rico he uh, got sick. His family saw a St. Jude commercial on their television set and said, let's try and send him there. He did not speak a word of English when he arrived at Memphis at the hospital in St. Jude. He learned English and got better by going to St. Jude Children's Research Hospital. Every penny counts, trust me. So whatever you can do, whatever you can give to be part of this would be wonderful. So that's it, 6.22 as well. Um, Wasn't bad, you I, look smooth, I got a, a smooth I run. I appreciate you saying that. Um, and I appreciate this tweet from Paul. And well, the only way I could change is to get faster, pretty much. I don't know if that's going to happen, but 
You know, my well, wife keeps telling me, Suze keeps telling me, you got to train one year. Maybe next year will be that year. It'll be year 20. So just maybe. Tell you, know, you what. You put, Patrick, you. you put Patrick behind you. You'll, you'll run a little run. faster next year. <laughs> You're going 5-2, five, 5-1. Five, five, might, be, might be the manual. Uh, I don't know if the Rose Bowl allows dogs. <laughs> they, don't, they don't want Patrick to do on that turf what he did on your shirt.